Another landmark here in Deansboro is the local Superette, where you can catch up on the local gossip, pick up a few groceries, and some authentic Syrian food, like tabbouleh and hummus. The Deansboro Superette has been in the same family now for going on 40 years. They're celebrating their 40th anniversary on Tuesday. And we are now into the third generation, and we had the good fortune to meet the fourth generation today, Elena. Many are the times that when my family is heading to our camp down on Gorton Lake, we stop here to pick up some of these monster subs, and uh, they feed an awful lot of people, each one of them. And uh, there's a secret in here, it's the secret sub sauce that they will not reveal under any circumstances, but you'll know you're tasting something pretty special when you bite into one of these subs. Today, when you buy one of the monster subs, John has very kindly offered to give you a free drink along with the sub. There's the fruit of my labor when I get bored. Tell me that it's mightier than the sword. It's sweet and subtle as a song of the wren. Well, if a drunk man's words are sober man's mind, it's all the same to her unless it's written on that line. Everything fades away without my friend. A few feet from Route 315 on Main Street here in Deansboro, you'll find the ye old canal shop. It's an antique center that has all kinds of things, thousands of them. Be sure to visit the barn and back. The owners are friends of mine from way back, Al and Joan Benedict, and they have offered a 20% discount for anything that you buy today. One man named Philkins was constable. He vowed to stop this ring of thieves. But the Loomises gave money and threats to those who tried to stop them legally. One night in 1865... If you're looking to do something on June 16th, which happens to be the day before Father's Day, so you can treat your dad to something here. In Deansboro at the MKJ Farms, Willie Nelson is coming here, and the, the field to my right is gonna be filled with thousands and thousands of people, and there will be uh, provisions made for the handicapped. It promises to be one heck of a show. I, uh, I was talking to the promoter just a moment ago. Willie Nelson is 74, so there's hope for all of us who are aging, and uh, the concert is both for the old and the young and everybody in between. I am on the ground floor of the Berry Hill Bookshop, and above me are two more floors. If you go up there, you are actually in literally for a literary adventure. That was pretty good, huh? <laughs> to continue, right? Not only will you find books here, uh, thousands of books, you're going to find other things like, like sheet music. Uh, this was my mom and dad's favorite, Peg of My Heart. You can find old magazines like this one from April 11th, almost, what, that's tw uh, 46 years ago, 1961. Then you can find by the front some collector's items, and this is incredible. Uh, I'm holding in my hand The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. Now, I helped clean out their Mark Twain section here about a year ago. This is one of the collector's items. And uh, why it's a collector's item is this. It, uh, it has five mistakes in it. Uh, the original that was published years ago had six. So that the fact that there are five in this one is very important from the collector's standpoint. Although this particular book might cost you a couple of hundred dollars, you can go up to the third floor here and buy one of them to read to your grandchildren. What a wonderful story it is. And it will cost you only one dollar. Well, the shop originally began about 1968. It began just sort of a part-time part -time thing, part-time hobby. Uh, we always collected books, whole family, and gradually got so many books. Uh, my father and mother decided we better do something with them. So uh, we put a sign up, opened the shop, and sold a few here and there. Uh, my father was a teacher. He gave, would take some for his students. Uh, my mother uh, ran the shop while he was teaching. I was still in school. Uh, I took over full-time in 1978 after I graduated. 
And since then we've grown from just the downstairs here where there are a few hundred books to three floors and about 80,000 books. When you come here, you can meet some celebrities. Well, this one you meet in a picture, but here's Lauren Bacall. It's an autographed picture of Lauren Bacall that you can pick up for $15. And then there are also some live celebrities. Buster over here. Buster is the resident cat, and uh, the cat is named after Buster Keaton. When you're driving through Deansboro Country, be sure to stop here at Jones Country Cafe. It's easy to find. It's just a little ways from the corner in Deansboro, next to what used to be the Musical Museum. Uh, I had a great time here today because we even sat at the table where my mother and father would come here for lunch many, many years ago with me and my family. Eating at Jones is a bit like eating in your grandmother's old kitchen because everything here, whether it's the soup or the entrees or the desserts, they are all homemade from scratch. Joan invites you to breakfast this morning. They're open until noon. And uh, to make the ride out here in the gas worthwhile, she's offered to give you uh, a second entree free when you buy one at regular price. You may want to try what I had. It was the sausage gravy and biscuits. It was out of this world. Or you can try their special, Eggs Benedict, or anything else on the menu. Let's see what we can see.